you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Nice shot there by the champ. Big knee lands. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice kick, yep. He lands another head kick. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Frantic pace early on to this one. Out of range with that one. Let me see that hook now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Solid kick by him there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combination. Get your range back. Get out of there. Let's go. Side kick is true. Just over three minutes to go now. Swing and a miss by Lee. Misses again with a right punch. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. It's going to be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, these knees are really starting to pile up. Good combination of knees there by Lee. Clean with the right hook. Lands a good series of kicks here. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Another leg kick lands. Throwing that jab, no good. 
good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Oh! He's hurt bad! Oh, my goodness! Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Oh, head kick lands now. Yep. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big punch land. Ooh. Lands the short elbow there. Fifteen seconds. Oh, roundhouse kick. Looked like he got tagged a couple oh, times there on top. Second round, straight ahead. Excellent job out there. You are a cardio machine. Cardio is the key to your victory right now. Keep doing what you're doing. Push the pace. This guy can't handle it. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Nice uppercut on the inside there. Uppercut is there again. Gets it close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Working off the jab, it's good. Headshot, bang! He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Two minutes have gone by. Ooh, what a punch. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful body kick. Fighter blocks the punch. Big head kick land. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Massive knee to body land. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. Put your hands up and yet again, finding the right distance and range and landing another punch. He's got a decided reach advantage in this one. 
Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything in courtesy he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Under a minute now to go in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. 20 seconds left. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to oh! oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Oh, nice high kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Big punch lands through the middle. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Hook to the head there by Lee. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Let me see that hook now. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand over the top. Ooh, another shot to the head. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. As he opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. And misses with the right hand. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Lee. 
Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Lee getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Now he's got good body position, yup. Back to his feet. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh, head kick, bang. Lee gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Collar tie here in the clinch. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not gonna diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the Ready defense, fight. and now Ready. he's got that massive Good. cut on the bridge of his nose. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that Nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Dig and kick. Straight right hand, no good. Checks the leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Straight punch is true. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Oh. Push kick there to the body. Elbow attempt now, that one blocked by Lee. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and 
Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Back and forth we go. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Taking a lot of body shots this round. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. Oh, man. End this fight, end it. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they gotta be thinking about getting involved here. Brown beef, man. <laughs> Brown beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm gonna let my fighters live and fight another day. And he blocks the shot there. Nice punch to the head. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice. Looking to land the leg kick now. Hit him first. Straight punch. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Now a kick to the body. Yet another huge kick lands. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Beautiful transition. The mount here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Good work, guys. Big shot to the body. Both guys appeared to land there. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Right. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, look, listen, we are winning this fight. We need you to stay doing what you're doing, all right? He's very open to body shots right now. I want you to go out there and I want you to keep... All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is gonna be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different or this fight is not gonna last much longer. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, nice knee by Lee. Able to block that one. Well, you know.
know Logan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Just missed with the left there. Throws that deep and it lands. Oh, yeah. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, I always marvel at the physical toughness of you and our entire roster, but dude, that thigh is in rough shape. Yeah, at some point, it doesn't matter how tough you are. When you have taken that many shots, it starts to dead leg you. He'll start to have trouble walking and moving around the octagon, and then you become a stationary target. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Oh, right into Mount. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Oh, thunderous leg kick grounds his opponent. Limped it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg good kick. Shot, shot. What an absolute war it has been. Probably gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Man, his thigh is just a mess of bruises right now. Looks like my son took out a couple of markers. How much more can he take, this? Not much. I mean, it's swollen. It's purple. It's blue. It's black. He's been beat up. I mean, you are now starting to see the benefits of following a game plan, recognizing the path, and taking that path. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight.